I made 30 videos, 30 songs, 30 Instagram posts, 30 TikToks, 30 Twitter posts in 30 days. And I want to share everything I learned throughout this journey, including the songs that I ended up releasing. If you're wondering, yes, the songs are already out, link in description. Before you go listen to them, I'll tell you stuff that may help you out if you make music or just content. When I started doing the challenge, I was not actually intending to release the songs I was doing. The main objective was really just to grow on YouTube because prior to doing the challenge, I was literally struggling to get like 100 views on each of my videos like everything was flopping plus at the time i was posting like once a week so i figured that doing a challenge where i post content every single day in that short period of time i'm sure i would have seen results and to be honest i actually ended up seeing results that i would have never saw if i wouldn't have done this 30-day challenge and i figured that it would have been like a really great opportunity for me to just create like a small ep or small album and just drop it and use the 30-day challenge as a way to promote this sort of super small project besides actually just growing on YouTube and releasing songs truly this challenge allowed me to get more comfortable at making music and videos and I genuinely at the end of the challenge saw that I made progress because I felt like I was more confident when I was recording songs every songs I made after the challenge I felt like we're just so much better than what I was doing before the challenge so it's a really a combination of all that the first lesson I learned throughout this journey is that I have no excuses for not doing the things I should be doing every single day I realized that by being super disciplined and strict on the goals that I set myself every single day, it made me realize that I can actually do way more than I expected to do on a daily basis, thus making me a lot more productive in my day-to-day -day life. You have to keep in mind, like every single day, I had to make a beat from scratch, then record the main vocals, then re-record the vocals take that sounded a bit off, then record the ad-libs, then record the double. Once that was all said and done, I had to go mix and master and level and do all that shit. And that's just one part of the journey because once that was done, I had to go and edit the whole footage that I recorded, create the thumbnail, and then create a TikTok post, you know, like a condensed version of the actual video that I posted on TikTok and Instagram. If you follow me there, then you know. These are tasks that most people, including myself, would actually spread throughout multiple days. But I actually ended up doing that every single day for 30 days. And every single day, I actually ended up finishing at like five in the morning. Like it was a really hectic month. There was literally like times, like I would go to sleep, literally like half in the sleep, I would wake up, render the video, go back to sleep while it's rendering, then wake up, find the video, render, finish, post that shit on YouTube. And as it's posting and processing, I'm literally doing the, the TikTok, Instagram, like it was so hectic and I'm gonna keep it real. This is absolutely not sustainable long-term. You will get burnt out and overwhelmed, but I'm genuinely grateful that I ended up completing the challenge at the end of the 30 days. Lesson number two is to prioritize quality. Even though I knew how much work I had to do on each individual day of the 30 day challenge, I still forced myself to prioritize the quality when I was recording the song. I really wanted to make stuff that weren't like throwaway songs. I really wanted to make sure like each song that I made were stuff that I genuinely liked listening to. And what I noticed is that songs that I would have considered throwaway songs, by spending that extra time perfecting those songs, those supposed to be throwaway songs ended up being songs that I felt they were worth dropping. Which if I didn't prioritize quality, I would have just shoulder shrugged those songs and forgot about them. Another pattern that I noticed is that the song that I spent a little bit more time on ended up being songs that people like the most compared to others that I spent probably slightly less time on. That itself just really shows you the power of prioritizing quality. It's so much better to make one exceptional song rather than doing like 10 basic shitty throwaways, super generic song that people listen to and they just don't gravitate around. People enjoyed the ones that I spent the most time on, which makes absolute sense. I genuinely felt like I got better better at recording music. I'm sure you're going to relate to that, but a lot of time I was recording songs and I would actually like never finish the song that I'm recording. I would record, let's say like, you know, like half of the song, then I would stop and move on to another song and, you know, telling myself like, oh, I'm gonna finish this song another time. But you know, we both know it's not true. Like I never actually end up going back to this project to finish that song. After doing this challenge, every song I make, I'm literally completing them all. Lesson number three is it's worth it to be disciplined. By definition, discipline is the ability of doing the things you know you should be doing whether you feel like it or not. Being disciplined is worth it because once it's all said and done, it just made me feel so happy to complete the challenge. There has definitely been days where I just did not want to record a song. I just did not want to record a video. I knew how much work I had to put every single day and I knew it from the morning, from the second I woke up. And there has been days like I straight up did not want to record. I straight up did not want to edit. But by being disciplined, I told myself that I had to force myself to do it because if I actually 
did not do it and I skipped a day, I would have felt like shit the next day. I would have been like, man, I told myself I can do this for 30 days or, or, you know, I fucked up the challenge. I missed out a day. I was supposed to do those 30 days and 30 songs, but then I missed a day. So the challenge is not completed. I failed. I had to force myself to do it and get it done. But the greatest moment when I say when it's all said and done, it made me so happy is because the greatest moment is when you force yourself to do it, you actually end up doing it. You actually ended up completing it and you finish that particular day. You finish the songs, you finish the editing, you did the thumbnail, everything is done. Everything is published, uploaded, posted. And now you're like, damn, like I really did it. You have like this sort of like, you know, you're looking back at the final take, the final video, listening back to the final song. When it's all said and done, it's the greatest feeling ever. That's why I say like, it's so much worth it to be disciplined, to do the things you know you should be doing, whether you feel like it or not. And to be honest, that's how you really are going to see results and start to grow for real is when you actually start taking stuff for real and be serious about your goals and objectives. If you set yourself goals and you feel like you're kind of falling off or you're not actually taking them as serious or you know, you're not really seeing the results you expected to see, like it maybe comes down to you not actually doing everything you should be doing. And maybe it, it requires you to make probably a little bit of sacrifices and think long term instead of thinking short term. Because if I was thinking short term throughout the challenge, it wouldn't have last 30 days. It would have last like 40 days. I would have took like a bunch of days off. But because I was so like, no, I gotta think long term. I gotta, you know, do those things. It's okay. I'm gonna sacrifice that for that. I'm looking back at it. I'm grateful because I ended up completing the challenge. You was part of it and you watched, you, you saw the whole thing. And I'm honestly thankful for that. It's cool as fuck that you watched the whole journey and you was part of it by just interacting with me, to be honest. One thing I owe is a massive thanks to you for watching and following the journey. You don't understand like how much it means to me that out of 300 million videos you can watch right this second, you're actually watching this video right here. And the fact that you're part of the journey by just watching my content, or even if you watch the 30 day challenge or you didn't even watch it, the fact that you watch any of my videos means the world to me. Honestly, I just find it so crazy how some people watch my videos. Like y'all really be watching a random dude on the internet recording those random ass songs. Like it's crazy, like a random dude with less than a thousand subs, y'all are there watching and following the journey of what I have to do and what and the ideas and videos I come up with. And I'm honestly just grateful and thankful for that. It means a lot to me. And for those who gave me their opinions on the songs I made throughout this 30 day challenge, thank you so much for telling me which song were your favorite. Cause honestly, out of 30 songs, I didn't know which one to drop. So the fact that you guys chose helped me a lot in deciding which one to drop. And I ended up dropping the top four that you guys chose from. So yeah, all the songs are in link in description. They are on SoundCloud. They're going to be on Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, all of that really soon. Stay tuned for that. If you make videos with the songs that I made, either YouTube videos, TikTok, Instagram, please tag me. I want to I want to share your posts if you use any of my songs to make videos or content. Big things for 2021. Hopefully it's really grind mode to be honest. Like I'm really taking this channel for real. I really am trying to build this into some like a big brand and stuff. Like I'm trying to grow like to multiple channels like in the future and have multiple different stuff to do. I I'm really just putting YouTube as like my priority right now. I really want to make sure like I grow substantially in this platform. I'm just grateful you're part of it to be honest. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Peace.